please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. We are going to find the inverse of our 2 into 2 matrix. We are having a step by step process. If you are given with a matrix and you will be asked to find the inverse of a 2 into 2 matrix and how you will be able to find it by using a step by step approach. Let's say you are having a matrix as let's say this is a matrix and it is a square matrix. It means for inverse a matrix should be a square matrix. So we'll write the condition in the bracket as it must be a square matrix. Okay, then what will be the steps in order to find its inverse? The step one is you have to find whether the given matrix is a singular or non-singular as the inverse is only possible of a non-singular matrix. We have already seen in our previous lecture that what is meant by singular and non-singular matrix. So first we will find the determinant in order to find the singular uh, the, in order to find whether the given matrix is a singular or not means the step one is find determinant then we will be able to decide whether it is a singular or non-singular or whether its inverse is possible or not okay so we will find the determinant of a as a determinant is equals to we will multiply them as like this 1 multiplied by 4 minus 2 multiplied by 3 okay 4 minus 3 into 6 it will be minus 2 as minus 2 is not equal to 0 it means this is a non-singular matrix and its inverse is possible okay this is the first step in order to find the inverse of a matrix if this step will tell you it is a non-singular matrix then you can proceed further for the next step step 2 is find the adjoint of a okay so we will find the adjoint as we have already seen in our previous lecture how you can find the adjoint as it is a 2 into 2 matrix we can also use a shortcut method or a cofactor method okay so the adjoint of a here we will use a shortcut method and we as we have discussed in detail the cofactor method in our previous lecture so adjoint of a will be a dj of a is equal to the shortcut method will give you with the with, uh, with the what we have to do is we have to do change the positions for here and one will I'll change the sign of the elements at this posi position and at this position. This is the adjoint of it. Okay. Then the last step is the step 3. Here we will find the inverse. Find A inverse. And what it is equal to? Its formula is adjoint of A divided by A determinant. This is the formula of A inverse. That is a very important formula you have to keep in mind in order to find the inverse of a matrix. Okay. So, a joint of A will put the values here. A joint of A is the matrix. We will write the matrix as it is as 4, minus 2, minus 3 and 1. This is the joint and the A determinant was minus 2. Okay. It means we will divide every element by 1 over minus 2 as we have the minus 2 in division. The matrix that we will get is 4 by minus 2, minus 3 by minus 2, minus 2 by minus 2 and 1 by minus 2. This is a matrix and the final answer of A inverse is, we will write it above here as A inverse is equals to 4 by minus 2 is minus 2 minus 3 by minus 3 by minus 2 is plus 3 by 2 and minus 2 by minus 2 is 1 and 1 by minus 2 is minus y 1 by 2. So this is the A inverse that we have found by using these three steps one by one and we have discussed in detail all these steps in our previous lectures of where we find the determinants, where we find the adjoint by using the different methods. You can refer to those lectures in order to find the, uh, in order to check how you can find the determinant and how you can find the adjoint. So keep in mind the formula of A inverse that is adjoint of A divided by the A determinant. Now you can also check that whether that you the answer that you have got is 
right or not let's see this here we have a method that you can verify the result let's verify the results as if you multiply the inverse with the original matrix a what you will get let's see the a was a is equals to 1 2 3 4 and the a inverse that we get is equals to minus 2 1 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. If we multiply these together, what we will get? Let's let's see. A into A inverse. We will apply the method of multiplication. What we will get is minus 2 plus 3 and then 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2. Then then we will multiply. 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 and plus 4. And then 2 into 3 by 2 is 3 minus 4 into 1 by 2 is 2. What we will get by multiplying them together as a into a inverse is minus 2 plus 3 is 1. 3 by 2 uh, uh, minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is 0. Minus plus 4 is 0. T minus 2 is 1. What we get? we get an identity matrix so what you assume from that it means when you multiply the given matrix with its inverse you will always get the identity matrix if the answer if the inverse is correct if you find the correct inverse then you will always get the identity matrix so what we have evaluated from here we have evaluated that if we multiply a given matrix with its inverse we will get an identity matrix and here the order doesn't matter we'll get the same answer so this is the procedure of verifying the inverse of a matrix okay so this was all about how you can find the inverse of a matrix and how you can verify its results thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you